So this particular poster um, is from 1969. So put the poster in water. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. guess people must think that's kind of nuts. To me, um, when I first learned about the process, I, I think that this was the most shocking part of it. Yeah. Was uh, you you what? You you put the poster in water? Yeah, you do. You do when you're in the basement of Dan Miles, where movie posters get a second chance at life. This water bath is the first step. I mean, once the paper is wet um, and you roll it like this, it, it clings to the, uh, to the acrylic. Then the restoration starts, beginning with bleaching. You, you, you'll see the brown just disappear. Because anything that is on the back, um, when you linen back, it will show through to the front. Well, this all started as his hobby, but now it's a thriving business with orders from around the world. Through word of mouth, through the internet, um, it just started to grow and grow. From its bath, you've put down the, the canvas, and then you've put the mass of paper on top of the canvas, you've glued it on top of the canvas, and then you glue the poster on top of the mass of paper. Dan uses a special wheat glue so that in the future, this poster could be removed from its linen backing. Archival restoration process is um, supposed to be reversible. Any tears or holes are filled with paper. Those patches carefully sanded. And then all of the missing or worn out patches of artwork are repainted. Even close up, you can see how amazing this is. If you take a look at this Psycho poster, it originally had lots of damage. There were actually pieces of paper missing from this poster. Lots of damage in this yellow area and even the title. And now looking at it, it's like new. And it's no wonder collectors around the world are interested in restoring their posters. They can be worth a lot of money on that psycho piece that's um, you know that's worth anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars US. We did a, an attack of the 50-foot woman for the movie poster warehouse in Toronto and they uh, were selling it on their website for eighteen thousand dollars. If you take a look at this corner this is all of the stuff from around the world just waiting to be restored. He's up to two employees now but looking for a new artist if you'd like to see some more before and afters, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. In Port Perry, Audra Brown, City News.